All right, let's take a look at another CSES sorting and searching problem, playlist. So what's going on here? Um, so we have a list of n songs, and we want to know the largest uh, interval such that every song is unique. Right, so for example here, uh, 1, 2, 1, it's not unique, so that's not allowed. But uh, 2, 1, 3, 2, nope, there's a duplicate in the 2. How about 1, 3, 2, 7, 4? Uh, yep, that has length 5, and we can't extend it anymore because this 2 flashes at that 2. Uh, so 5 is the answer here, which is what we get. Um, so this is uh, going to be greedy. Uh, we're just going to um, keep adding a new song to the list, and we wanted to chop off some old songs from the, uh, you know, the front of the list uh, to make the new song unique. Um, so let's do that. Uh, playlist. So we can need input, um, and we're going to use a set uh, to check for the uniqueness quickly. Um, So if songs dot count AI, right, so um, while the song is already in our list, we need to chop off some stuff from the front. This is not clear. Uh, okay, so we want to add the new song to the list, but there's a problem. The new song might already be in the list. If that happens, then we need to keep chopping things out the front until that's no longer true. So that's what this while loop is doing. Uh, it's saying, well, we already had this song, chop a song off the front, and this is our you know, front, um, which we'll increment. Uh, and then once it's no longer in the list, then we can add it. And uh, the length that we have now is, right, so this is now a valid sort of chunk of songs. So this might be the best chunk. Um, so we should max it with, you know, our best so far. Uh, and the length is i minus start plus one. And maybe the easiest way to see that is, you know, after the first song goes through, i is zero and start is zero, and that has length one. So you know, that's where we get the plus one from. Um, and the reason for that is that this is like inclusive on both ends, right? We're saying that we actually do have uh, start and also i, and right, the length of an inclusive interval is that. Um, so at the end, not the answer. Uh, and we also need a set. Right. Um, and the reason that we need a set, by the way, is that we want to check if we already have a song quickly. Right. And a set can do this um, in log n time. Uh, whereas if we used an array or we like scan back through our current list or something, that would be linear time, which is too slow. Uh, Fault. Ah. Um, right, we're filling in the values of A, so we need to allocate space for A up front. Okay, this pins up five. It's probably better, better answer than segmentation fault. Cool, so it works. Um, yeah, so greedily, uh, right, we just add each successive song to the list, and we only remove songs. Um, from the front of the interval if we have to, right? That is, if a new song has a conflict. Um, so it's kind of relatively easy to see that this greedy is correct, right? We're making each interval as long as possible, 
uh, adding each successive song, and the only time that you should delete a song is when you're forced to, right? And because the list has to be contiguous, you always have to delete from the front. Um, so that's the problem.